Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for calling it Chris, guys. So, y'all, Philly cheesesteaks are great. They're great, okay? No one can say they're not. They're amazing. However, Philly cheesesteak egg rolls. <sighs> y'all. It's about to go down in that kitchen today. So what I need for you to do is to keep on watching so you can see what's about to be popping up in that kitchen, okay? Make sure you watch all the way to the end so you can see how it turned out, okay? Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. If you try it, let me know all that good stuff, all right? So keep watching. First things first, of course, we gotta talk about our ingredients. So we have some garlic powder, some smoked paprika, some Creole seasoning as my salt, a pepper, onion, some steak and chopped marinade, some sliced mushrooms. We have smoked Gouda cheese, that is chow cheese and I'll show you what that looks like later. We have our vegan egg rolls, some onion powder, minced garlic, steak seasoning and I used two cans of jackfruit. I did not end up using the liquid smoke but you can. Alright so I only ended up using half of my bell pepper and then I used about three-fourths of that package of mushrooms but you can use as many mushrooms as you want because mushrooms cook down a lot. So I did end up using an entire red onion and I just want to talk about something real quick. So I rinsed my onion in cold water a lot longer than normal and I like scrubbed the, I scrubbed the inside of it and y'all, I really was not crying for the first time in a long time. So I don't know if that was a mental thing or if that trick really works, but y'all really got to try it and let me know if it worked for you. Go ahead on and pour your oil up in there. So I poured my oil in there and my heat was on low. I put all of my vegetables in there. I forgot to put my garlic in there so you'll see me do that later. But like I said, it was on low. So because it was on low, I was able to get some other stuff done while it was cooking. And by other stuff, I mean preparing my jackfruit. So canned jackfruit has a weird taste to me when it comes right out of the can. So I make sure I spend extra time rinsing it out, splitting it all up. Shred I shred it with my fingers. Right there I was trying to show you that there are some seeds in the middle and I really like to make sure those seeds are all broken down. So I do spend at least five minutes per can. I know that's a long time. but. I like to make sure that it comes out perfect so after I shred them and split everything up I rinse it all off and make sure all of that canned flavor gets out of it because mm -mm 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 -mm, you do not want your stuff tasting like it came from a can that's just not what you want and then I just squeeze all of the water out I get out as much water and by as much I mean all of the water get all of that water out and then you can go ahead and put it in your bowl and then move on to the second can do the exact same thing for the second can all right we're gonna have to ignore all of the oil that I spilled on the stove Moving past that, you see that our veggies cook down so nicely. I'm just taking them out. I'm gonna put the pan back, put a little bit more oil in it so that I can cook the jackfruit down. Now, I do not season my jackfruit until it starts getting brown because I like to make sure it's brown first before I start seasoning it. I do that because I just feel like it's gonna hold on to its flavor if it's already cooked down a little bit.
This is where I added that garlic that I forgot about earlier. It's time to start seasoning this bad boy up. Once I cooked it down to how I wanted it, I just went and added in the rest. Alright, so I took four slices of cheese and sliced it in half. This is the chow cheese. Then I went on to my smoked gouda. I used eight slices in all, which means I was going to have eight egg rolls. However, I ended up making ten, so I had two that did not have cheese in it. But they still tasted great. One thing I want to mention is when you're making it, make sure your wrap is sitting in front of you like a diamond. I then put one slice of cheese at the bottom. I took some of my steak mixture and I put it on top of the cheese. I didn't let it go outside of the cheese just because I didn't want to overstuff it and then it like bursts while I'm frying it or something crazy like that. Put that other slice of cheese on top, fold one side to the top, fold the two sides inward, and then I roll it over. I cooked three at a time, didn't want to overcrowd my little pot. I had them sit for about 20 seconds on each side and then I took them out. It was as simple as that.
nation to see how good it was. I just want to talk about the fact that I had some leftover steak meat and I ended up making actual Philly cheesesteaks and y'all, it was so good. Woo! So if you have leftovers, don't be worried. Just make a sandwich with it. Alrighty. It's time to eat. I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm excited. This is what it looks like on the inside. So, I am Look at the cheese. You all can't see it, but the cheese is like gooing out. This sauce is mayo and French dressing. I don't know why I just blew. And some smoked paprika. Wow. I'm gonna go crunchy part. This is magical. Okay, so y'all. Please make this. Um, when you make it, let me know what you think about it. I, I really, really, really like this. Um, it's very flavorful. The crunch is good. Um, you can do it in your air fryer also. I just didn't want to, so I fried it. Um, let me know what you think. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment, share this video with the world. Share it with your best friend, your mama, your daddy, your cousins, all of them. Okay? Okay. See y'all next time. Bye!